into a huge pot. Now, uh, you have the cayenne pepper, right? Yes, Big Book. And the chocolate. It's imperative that you use just a pinch of fine Swiss chocolate. That's right. And the beans. Now, they have to be soaked overnight, you know. Yes, I know. It's my recipe, remember? Oh, I just want to make sure everything tastes impeccable. Trust me, I've made this recipe a hundred times. You know, I ate a good recipe once. Oh, yeah? What was it? A cookbook. <laughs> Get it? A good one. Bill, how did you learn to make your special chili? Well, I started by following a recipe I found in a book. And it was good chili, but it wasn't great chili. But I hear your chili's out of this world. It is, and each time I'd whip up a new potful, I would start by following the recipe in the book. But then I'd add an ingredient of my own each time, and sometimes the chili tasted great. Do you recall the time she added marshmallows? And Limburger cheese? And bubble gum? And jalapeno pepper paste? Magnifique! Magnifique. Belle, you must admit there were times your chili wasn't so great. Ugh, I could still taste that batch you made when you thought vinegar would be a zestful ingredient. Well, how will I learn if I don't experiment, Big Book? Besides, I have finally arrived at the perfect recipe, and now that's the one I use every time. I hope I can learn to make chili as good as you, Belle. Well, you can, Jennifer. All you need to do is follow the recipe and your taste buds. You can't go wrong. Belle! Could you possibly be a bit quieter? I was so close to dreaming of pot roast. Well, I'm sorry, Harmony, but we're busy making chili. We'll be as quiet as possible. Good, because I need a nap to work up my appetite. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Harmony isn't helping, but she gets to eat the chili. Why? That's Harmony for you. Yep, it's a good job if you can handle the hours. That sounds like my kind of work. Got any room over there, Harmony? Well, wait a minute, Sean. You're not going to help either? No, nope, I'm in the mood just to hang out. If it's good enough for Harmony, it's good enough for me. Well, I would rather you helped, but it's your choice, Sean. Then I'm with Harmony. Sean, give me some paw. Yeah. Oh, uh, Belle, I do believe it's time to add the tomatoes. And the timing is quite crucial, you know. Why, delaying could mean disaster. You do remember the last time you waited and the tomato sauce tasted like tomato soap, don't you? Thank you, Big Book. I do remember. Tomatoes! 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 Yeah! Boy, Belle, making your chili is sure hard work. That just makes it taste so much better, Natalie. How come Sean and Harmony aren't helping? Hey, Johnny Threes? Go fish. All right, give me a mackerel. <laughs> they both decided they didn't want to pitch in. Wait a second. We do all the work and they get to eat? Well, I told them they could decide for themselves. No way! That's not fair at all. Don't tell me you don't know the story of the wise little head. Right. Like there's actually a story that Belle wouldn't know. Well, actually, I don't know that story. <gasps> oh, Belle, you've got to hear this one. I think it fits right in. Well, great. Why don't you tell us the story while we keep cooking? No problem. See, there was once this mother hen who had a lot of little chicks to take care of. She had to grow her own food, and there was a ton of work to do. The wise little hen was thinking again, she said Got a lot of mouths to feed She don't want to run short when the weather reports Says the winter is here indeed I need to gather my brood in a quest for food Upon which our lives depend It's a beautiful morn for cotton corn Let's seek out a farm and friend We'll help her plant her corn We'll help her plant her corn The mother hen turned to the big strong pig. Surely he would lend a hand. Will you help me plant my corn? Who, me? Oh no! I have a bellyache! Will you help me plant my corn? Who will help me? 
felt her Play her coin It's a heartfelt club for Donald Duck To help her play her coin The hen knew she could count on the local duck He'd definitely help her out Or so she thought Will you help me Play my coin Seeds are growing, we'd be happy If those plants could make it snappy Finally, the hen and her chick's hard work paid off And the corn shot up to the sky But now, the hen had a new problem Who will help her harvest corn? She'd like to believe the roll up your sleeve And help her harvest corn once again, she turned to the only two helpers she knew, the pig and the duck. Will you help me harvest corn? And once again... Ooh, me? Oh no! We got a bunny! Those two were pretending to be sick just to get out of helping. When you can't find, can't find, can't find, can't find anyone else, don't let this man feel the morning and book it down and help yourself. Now the work was almost done, and the mother hen was busy cooking up all the great corn things that she made best. She will eat the corn herself. Fry and corn cobs boil The ones who said we will not toil Must be content The caster on us you hit the corn itself I'm sure the pig and duck never refuse to help again That's right, Jennifer They learned that if you pitch in You may feel good about it And you might even get a reward Like corn or chili <laughs> Ah the aroma of fine food stirs the senses. Ah, by the smell of things, you've done it again, Belle. It does smell good, and everyone's done a terrific job pitching in. Well, almost everyone. Ah! So, what do you say, Big Book? Ready for a taste? Well, I, I really couldn't. I mean, I, I shouldn't. Uh, that is, I... I uh, 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 may I? I'd be honored by your opinion. Perfect. <laughs> How soon before we eat, Belle? Well, let me check, Hampton. How are we doing on time, Carol? I'd say about 30,000 grains of sand to go, Belle. Great! The chili will be ready in just a few minutes. And now, the only thing we have left to do is set the table. And I know the two perfect helpers for the job. Yeah, so I said, if you want to jump over the moon, then jump. But me and my fiddle stay put. <laughs> Hi, you two. Hi, Belle. Is it time to eat? Yeah, I'm starved. Well, actually, we're not prepared yet, but I came over to see if the two of you wanted to help set the table. Nah, nah too, too busy. busy. But wouldn't you feel better if you pitched in and helped with some of the work? Well, everyone else did help, right? That's right. Maybe we should lend a hand. 
Or a paw. No way! Let them do the work. I mean, they're all so good at it. You know I never force you to do anything around here. And I love you for that, Belle. But maybe there's a story you'll let me sing to you. Yeah, sure. Whenever you find one, give me a holler. <gasps> well, what is this? A book! Well, what a coincidence. I can sing you that story right now. You're so sly, Belle. Sing away. What's it about? Well, this story is about three hard-working pigs. Well, they weren't all hard-working. See, two of them thought it would be more fun to sing and to play than to prepare. You see, one pig wanted to build his house of straw. I built my house from straw! I built my house from hay! I took my flute, I don't give a hoot, and play around all day! And another wanted to quickly build her house using sticks. I built my house of sticks! I built my house with twigs! With a hay daddle daddle, I play on my fiddle and dance all kinds of jigs! But the third pig took the time to build his from something much sturdier. I built my house of stone! I built my house of bricks! I've had no chance to sing and dance for work and play don't mix. And even though their brother with the bricks warned them about the big bad wolf, they just didn't give an oink. We're not scared by what you say. We don't think we are today. But one day we'll be okay. I'll be safe when the wolf comes through your door. <laughs> and the pigs ran as fast as they could to their houses. And did they build their houses strong enough to keep the wolves out? Remember, they built their homes so quickly so they'd have time to goof around. So were their houses strong enough? One pig ran and hid in his house of straw, hoping that it would keep him safe. Open the door! Let me in! Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Now both pigs had to hope that the house of sticks would hold back the wolf. And did it, Belle? Curses. At first, yes, but then the wolf got an idea. Well, you're too smart for me. Guess I'll go home. He's gone! ran to their brother's house in hopes that they'd be safe. Who's there? By the hair on your chitty chin chin, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Well, he tried and he tried and he tried. But no matter how hard the wolf blew, the house of stone still stood. The frustrated wolf got an idea. If I can't blow the house down, then I'll sneak in another way. And up to the roof he climbed. 
Yeah. Of course, the one pig was even prepared for this. And the wolf got a big surprise when he landed in a steamy pot of boiling water. <laughs> Something true. Now we've learned a thing or two. What you do comes back to you. So you see, the pigs who just wanted to sing and dance wished they would have taken their work more seriously. Instead of just goofing around. That's right. Carol, how much time is left? Almost ready, Belle. Now? No. Now? No. Now? No. Okay. Looks like I better go set that table. Wait a second, Belle. We'll do it. Uh, which we is that? Us, we, you and I. Sorry, Sean, but you're flying solo on this one. I'm staying right here. Well, I'd feel better helping out. See ya, Harmony. Are you sure you don't want to pitch in, too? Sure as kittens love yarn. Okay, it's your decision, Harmony. Okay, so now? Yes, Louis, now! Now? Yes! Now? Yes! Oh. Yes! Come and get it! <laughs> ah! Mmm, mmm! I know that smell! I'll take my bowl over here, Belle! Sorry, Harmony, but I don't think so. You chose not to help, remember? Hey! Knock off the jokes, Belle! I'm famished! We all helped, Harmony. You chose not to. Therefore, you didn't earn a bowl full of this zesty and describable concoction. But, but I'm hungry. But it isn't fair to let us do all the work. Yeah, even I realized that I needed to help out to earn a bowl of chili, Harmony. You're all just being mean. Well, I don't think we were being mean. You chose not to help. You were maybe thinking a little bit about yourself. Me? Just because I didn't want to help everyone? That's... that's... Hmm... Maybe I was a little... selfish. <laughs> maybe you should have thought about what you'd be missing before taking the easy way out. I have an idea, Belle. I know something she could do. Something she's very good at. <gasps> that is a great idea, Sean. Harmony, if you help with the meal, you can join us. Sound fair? Yes! Very fair! I'll do anything! Terrific! Then welcome to our chili party. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <sighs> Heaven! Uh, by the way, what do you have for me that I'm such a whiz at? You get to clean the dishes. Since Harmony is so good at cleaning her plate, she might as well clean everyone else's too. I love to! And next time, I'll lend a paw from the beginning, I'll do my share, and that's a promise. Thanks, Harmony. I propose a toast. To the wise little hen, the three little pigs, and to all of us who helped put this chili party together. To us. To, to us. us.